Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Brad with Diesel's Hog Vlog here. So recently I did a video on and changing over my lighting in my Ultra Classic to all LED. Now, one thing we went over in there that we need to talk about a little bit that's really, really important and will save you guys a whole bunch of grief down the road. It's right after this message from the intro. All right, we'll keep this quick and simple. So in my video, you probably remember, or you may not remember, but if you don't, that, uh, so I'm gonna use an incandescent bulb because it's all I've got handy, but it doesn't matter. The contact end is the same no matter if it's LED or incandescent. So what I did was I took this tube of dielectric silicone grease. You saw me put a little on there and I put a little on the contacts and I took my finger and I smeared it all around and I shoved them in. and. Obviously by the video, it worked fine. And of course it will, because I put such a absolutely thin smear on. And there's a reason for that. So the reason is that dielectric grease has a property that's a little different than ordinary grease. So if you don't know what dielectric is and stuff, it doesn't matter. Um, if you just basically go and get yourself a tube of ordinary grease, whether it's wheel bearing grease or chassis grease, synthetic or non-synthetic, it doesn't matter. You can take that in and you could smear as much on there as you want, shove it in and it's going to work just fine. And the grease will keep this outside housing here from corroding and also the inside of the housing of your light will corrode as well if it's left bare and dry because the lenses don't seal perfectly and you will get some moisture in there in rainy or wet weather on the road. So I like the dielectric just because it actually inhibits the flow of electrons and to not get complicated, it stops any cross current flow in there if it gets wet or anything else. And is that a big deal? Not really. That's just me obsessing about doing absolutely perfect everything that I do to the best of my ability. So do you need it? No. And in the comments, a lot of you said that you do use dielectric grease. So if you are using dielectric grease, all I'm going to tell you is that incandescent bulbs are fairly high amp draw. LEDs hardly draw anything at all. As we know, that's one of the awesome things about LED in your house is power conservation on your bike or in your car. Again, hardly uses any battery power at all. So when you do that, the dielectric grease can actually inhibit enough flow that an LED bulb may not function or function properly. So that's why I use a super thin smear and as you saw, it works fine. But if you're going to use dielectric grease because that's your thing, just like it's my thing, then please just remember when you put it on the bulb end, make sure it's nice and thin. Like you don't want any globbies, no stringies, nothing. That thin smear that you have in there is going to prevent corrosion. And you can even take your pinky and you can put a little bit on there, just a thin smear and go in your socket and just make sure that the metal and the socket side, which is what I did off camera, uh, is just, just the ever thinnest smear too. And you know what? That's never going to corrode on you, never going to give you any grief. So that's the only point of today's video, is if you're going to use dielectric grease on LED bulbs, then please be super conservative. And if you don't have it, don't run out and buy it. It's not the cheapest thing. Just whatever grease you happen to have handy, you grease those bulbs, stuff them in the sockets, and it'll prevent corrosion, and they'll work great for you for a real long time. So that's it for me today, ladies and gentlemen. Not a big deal, just wanted to clarify that. Rich reached out to me from Rogue Rider. He watched the video and uh, he did mention that. So uh, we did have a chat about it and uh, he knows that I'm fully aware of using dielectric grease properly on LED bulbs. But I figured, you know what? I told him I'm gonna pass that on to you because if you just took and piled the grease on there and stuck them in, they didn't work, you'd probably be calling Rich going, hey, your stuff is junk. And really, it's not the fault of the hardware, it would be the fault of the grease. So, don't have dielectric, don't worry about it, you don't need it. If you do happen to have it, and it's what you want to use, and you're into that, then that's cool, but be conservative. Anyways, just about riding season, it's getting nice outside, so it won't be long. Get that bad boy on the road. Take care, everybody, have a great day. White snow, red sky. Reach up for so, so high